All right, guys, let's talk about editing a 4K clip into a 1080p timeline with Adobe Premiere Pro. So I've already started a new project and imported a 4K clip that I got from Blackmagic's website. So I'm gonna drop this into my timeline. And when I do that, the timeline or the project assumes the settings of the first clip that I drop in there. In this case, it's 4K, so now my project is 4K. So I need to change the dimensions of my project. So to do that, I'm gonna go up to Sequence, down to Sequence Settings, and right here it says Frame Size, and 3840 by 2160 is a 4K size, and so I'm gonna change this to 1920 by 1080. Everything else looks good, and I'm just gonna hit OK. So now it uh, shrinks that frame size down to the 1080p size. And what you're going to notice is that my 4K clip did not resize with it. And so now things look uh, really zoomed in. And maybe that's how you want it, or maybe you want to adjust the framing of it. So let's look at how to do that. I double click on the clip in my timeline and it pulls up here in my preview monitor. And I'm just going to go up to the effect controls tab. And right here under motion, I have the position and scale properties. So the scale is set to 100%. And I'm not going to ever go above that because that means that now it's becoming pixelated and getting bigger than that 4k resolution. So if I go to 50%, it's going to make it that 1080p size. And so now things are looking good. But if I scrub forward a little bit, where the biker's coming through, and uh, maybe right here as he's kind of going off this this rock right here, I'm, I want to zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to take this scale and I'm going to bring it up here, and then I can adjust my position. So now he is more in that frame where I want him to be, and so as long as I don't go over this. 100% scale, then I'm still going to have a high quality image. So that's pretty much how you adjust a 4K clip in a 1080p timeline. And now it's your turn to try it out. So as always, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, get at it.